in my room. There's a box containing miscellaneous art supplies. And so today... We will be drawing with the supplies inside of this red cup. Sorry if you hear people outside. Um, it's summer, my window's open, and it's hot. Without further ado, let's get to swatching, figure out what has been trapped inside of this red cup for all these years, and what we have to work with for our illustration. Okay, I closed my window for this. Hopefully there won't be any, um, noises. So I'm kind of sorting things based on their type. Those two Sharpies, they were open! I was so nervous about them! I was like, oh no! There's glitter glue in here. It's exciting. So first we do pencils, which are really boring. Um, not much to see there. Some of them are actually kind of cool though. I tried testing their little erasers. These ones are really neat. They're like Pentel, but you take off this weird like cap thing and it has like a tiny eraser that erases really well. I had some trouble with the lead. It's in a, it's an eraser stick. I've wanted one of those for so long. I was gonna buy one, another Pentel one, but I was so surprised that I had one in that box. Okay, I start, I start using pens now. I'm sorry some of them got cut off, but it's okay because I actually started doing them lower too. Um, because I wanted to do a bunch of circles for something you'll see later to test the streakability. That was a very cool one. It had like a brush type nib. It's crazy. Most of these are black, but I do have a couple that are colors. I have blue, purple, and green. Here we go. I realized it was off the camera. Some of these were pretty cool. There's the Sharpies. They actually worked. They they were not dead, which I was very surprised by. Then I just kind of test the Sharpies and the highlighters. Oh, I love yellow highlighters. And there's my streak test. Which you guys probably can't see as well as I can, um, or I could, the streakability of these liners. I put a check by everything that didn't streak which is most of the colors, and then the Sharpies, which was shocking. Then I tried the glitter glue. It's basically just glitter glue. So I was like, who am I going to draw who's orange, yellow, green, purple? Ah, it's been a couple of years since I drew a furry, but it's my boy Nicholas Wilde. You know him <coughs> from the hit movie Zootopia. Uh, Kenny. You always commented, I better draw animals. Hope you enjoy my furry. I like Nicholas Wilde. He's not good, as good as Judy Hopps, but you know. I'm sorry it keeps going in and out. I had a lot of trouble with his face. I think maybe the way I move my hands is making my camera really weird. Or I guess it's my phone camera, so. I'm gonna fix his eyes, don't worry, because he looks too excited. And his nose and mouth. I was looking at some references. I'm kind of going for like a Zootopia style mixed with like a Zistopia style, which is like this comic people made about the early draft of Zootopia when like predators were shock collars and stuff. Which has a really cool style. So his eyes, I like them like this. They look sneakier. They're a little bit wonky, but I think they did good. And I kind of wanted to make thick eyebrows for him. Tried to do a lot of like a cross hatching vibe in this. And then I decided to do all the lining with that Sharpie because it didn't streak at all with anything, which was just crazy. And it was super juicy, even though the little cap was off. And I have two, so I was like, cool, um, these may be a new go-to. I liked it a lot. I am drawing on the same paper I did all the test swatches on, so... A little cross-hatchy. And then I erased it, but like when I was erasing it, part of the eraser broke off, which is what I'm trying to show there. Part of the eraser snapped off on that long, skinny, bendy eraser, but I still love it, and uh, it's in my pencil bag now. I'm trying to color, uh, you know, I hate coloring with alcohol markers. I'm trying to color with these little skinny things is really hard. I didn't know how to make the leaves look darker than his shirt because they're supposed to be, actually, they're supposed to be like some are darker, some are lighter, but I was like, I don't know how to do that because I only have the one green. Sorry, my hair sneaking in. So I was trying to kind of go over it multiple times. So that way it'll be darker. And then it kind of is darker. And then we started skin. I realized almost too late that he does have that big patch of white fur in the middle that goes from his muzzle down to his neck to his chest. So I was like, oops. But thankfully, 
My, I captured it. It's okay. We didn't accidentally make it orange. Even though I did mess up a couple things I was coloring, but I was really surprised because I did have all these colors. Man, I didn't know how to color with this highlight. I was like, it's streaky. I didn't know what I was doing. Here I come. I'm kind of outlining his muzzle there. The little white muzzle bit. Glad I didn't have to color all that in. It was nice having some not to color. Oh, he's so vibrant. <laughs> then I did his eyes in this green pen because I wanted a distinction between his eyes and his shirt. I thought I'd do black on the top kind of, so it's kind of like a gradient eye. Here comes a black. Then I did a little little more on stuff. Uh, and then I should have just left his ears white because technically his ears are white, but somehow I made them like fluorescent yellow because I really wanted to use the yellow. So they kind of like like radiation things, like toxic, toxic. And then I was really nervous about his tie because all I remembered having purple was this purple pen. But then I found this purple marker that was in the box that I'd forgotten about. So I used the red colored pencil and this purple marker, which was just crazy because I really did have every single one of his colors. Blessed box. So glad I decided to do Nick's Wild. Still trying to change the color on those little things. Did some in the background. Same cross hatching effect. And then I thought I didn't use any glitter glue yet, so I kind of put some in his eyes. You'll see it better in a minute. Still trying to fix his shirt. Do a little shading. Dun, 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 dun. See the glitter glue? It's Nicky! Yeah, wow. I haven't drawn an animal in forever. But I really did enjoy... It was two years ago in the summer. I drew a bunch of pictures of Nicholas and Judy. So I should do more. Here's me assembling everything I used from the box. Which was honestly like half the box. I was really impressed. So there's the stack and then um, I kind of put it off the side. In a minute I'll show you the cup with everything else. I didn't use things like I had two Sharpies in there, but I didn't use them. Oh, I'm sorry, I got the eraser. I didn't use the yellow Sharpie or the silver Sharpie. And there was a lot of pencils and the liner pens that smudged that were in there. But I basically used all of the colors because all the colors were so perfect for him. I think if I was to compare this to my old drawings of Nicholas Wilde, I'd be surprised by the improvement, even though I haven't spent any of this year drawing first. But I, I enjoyed this so much. It was so fun to draw in Nicholas Wilde. I loved Zootopia. What a good movie. And I think this was a really fun style to do it in. And he's so bright in my sketchbook. If you enjoyed this, if you like Zootopia, if you like Nikki, um, you could like, comment, or subscribe. Let me know if you liked this idea for an art challenge. I just thought it was fun because I do have that little box sitting in my corner. Um, and I'll see you guys next Saturday for another art video, hopefully with more furries. See you then.